Hey everybody, welcome back. This video we're going to be getting back onto the 279 CBXs uh, that I'm finishing up here. So uh, on the table here are the next parts and pieces that I'll be cleaning up and restoring and uh, reassembling uh, back onto the bike again. So uh, you know basically I'm going to be installing the the rear or getting the rear wheels ready to install with the uh, clean up and restore the rear sprockets. I still got to clean this wheel up and restore it. Um, I have to clean up and restore the taillight assembly and the axles and the uh, the license plate frame. As you can see here, this one's all repainted and ready to go. And then I've got the uh, grab bar, both grab bars. And then this right here is an NOS uh, tail light bracket with the license plate uh, frame or bracket or where you, um, you know, install the license plate. And this is a brand new NOS one here still in the package. I haven't opened it, but I will be installing that. On the Left for Dead CBX, and then the rest of the parts and pieces here we'll be cleaning up, including the rear shocks. Um, I mentioned the uh, the rear sprocket and the uh, brake rotors. So um, that's what will be covered in this video. And the first thing I do is clean everything in the solvent tank. As I'm doing here, I'm cleaning the the uh, the axles and the chain adjuster and all the you know nuts and bolts and spacers and collars and so on and so forth. Then after that, uh, I take the turtle wax chrome polish, which I think is one of the best on the market. It used to be made by Dupont. But I think Turtle Wax uh, bought them out. And if the shocks really aren't that bad, which these really aren't, I just, I just really uh, spend a lot of time with the chrome polish on those and get them all polished up. And, you know, you just take paper towel and uh, Scotch-Brite, which is what I'm doing here to polish the inside of the springs because usually they're a little corroded with rust or a light surface rust or whatever that comes right off. Uh, if you do that, you just wrap it around the spring and then and then just kind of work it around. And then uh, here's the first shock all polished up. And I'm just uh, doing the final polish right here. And, it, and as you can see, it really turned out nice. And I've got I've got the reproduction uh, stickers to put on there. Also, but uh, you can see the difference here. You know that's what it looked like before and and after. And the more corrosion that's on there, the longer it takes. But you know you work at it, and they and they come out pretty nice. I mean the original chrome on the Honda shocks is in pretty you know it's pretty good. So it polishes right up. But here's the uh, the new FVQ stickers that go on to the shocks. And these are reproductions that I got from a guy in Europe. And I'll, I'll uh, put his contact information in the comments below. But uh, you have to make sure you put it on the outside of the shock as indicated by which way the hole is. And it goes right here at the bottom of the shock. So you just peel it off and you want to be able, you want to make sure that the letter V is in Victor is centered over the hole, you know, maybe about a quarter of an inch up from the bottom of the, of the shock. Make sure it's straight and you just wrap it around and it's beautiful makes the shock look like a brand new NOS shock. The more time you spend on polishing the shocks, the better they come out. So, 
And then here I'm uh, taking the rear grab rail, which in my case, both bikes, the grab rails were in pretty decent condition. They weren't that corroded. And again, I polish them up with the chrome polish. And then here's the, uh, the rear taillight bracket on the left for dead CBX, which again, I'm replacing it with one that's already newly painted and ready to go. And I will repaint this one as well. You have to get the rubber, all the rubber bumpers and grommets and all that out of there. So that one's ready to go and repaint now. So as I mentioned, I, I just use the chrome polish on the rear grab rail as well if it's not too corroded, whereas this one's just got very light surface rust on it, so it, it'll clean up really nice. And again, the longer, the longer you spend on it, the better it comes out. And there again, the, the chrome, the original chrome from Honda is really super high quality. And I've, I've had to re-chrome very few of them. You know, they usually clean up really well. And there it is all polished up. Then I'm ready to uh, reinstall the newly painted license plate bracket, which also holds the rear turn signals. And after I cleaned up the bolts, they're ready to put back in. And again, if the bolts aren't very corroded, I just kind of lightly brush them with a, with a uh, brass brush. That way you don't rub the plating off of there. Then I, I disassembled the taillight, cleaned everything up, polished the lens and all of that. And now that's ready to put back on. And there it is. Looks like new. You always have to make sure that the tail light, you uh, insert the, the post in the back there up in the slot, which kind of locates the tail light properly. So now I'm, I'm reinstalling the, poly, the newly polished and restored rear shocks. And again, I cleaned up the, uh, the acorn nut and the washer, which both cleaned up really nice. Again, the chrome is really high quality, so if it's not that corroded, they clean up really nicely. Now I'm installing the taillight assembly and the grab rail. And I'm just putting these long bolts in here to kind of hold it in place because they actually screw into the rear fender which in the next video I'll show uh, you know I'll be restoring that rear fender both the uh, the outer fender and the inner fender so it's I've just got the the bolts in there to kind of hold it in place right now and then I go ahead and plug in the harness into the tail light. It's much easier to do at this point. 
So there's, there are those items reinstalled onto the bike. And again, as you clean up each one of these parts and pieces, it's really fun to go back together again because then the bike really starts coming together. Here it is from the rear. And I left that one shock off until the uh, chain guard is installed. So here's the, uh, the rear brake rotor, which I've already cleaned up. And I've done a video already on how to restore these. And uh, it's shown here in the, in, um, on part 37 of my videos. If you look back, just go to, to uh, video part number 37 and you'll see it. And then here I'm, I'm reinstalling the brake rotor. And I refer to the shop manual for the uh, correct torque specs, which is 20 to 24 foot-pounds. And so I always kind of go in the middle. So in this case, I, w I would do it at like 22 or, or so. And I torque them in a cross pattern, as I show here. And that's going to do it for this video. So uh, the next video, I'll be installing the rear fenders, inner and outer. And I'll be installing this wheel along with the, uh, the chain and the sprocket and all of that. So uh, again, as usual, thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you on the next video. I'll be posting that here in the next couple of days. Thanks for watching. Bye. And be sure to check out the rest of my uh, videos on my channel. Here's a couple of previews of those videos.